Hi everyone! Welcome to Beer Me! Welcome to Beer Me! We have a local Vancouver delicacy for us tonight. Blocks away. Spectrum. Spe no, Spectrum. Spectrum. Spectrum, Spectrum pumpkin, pumpkin Spice Latte, latte Ale. ale. It sounds so bad, but I hopefully it's not. This is our work. It's very lackluster. I'd have to say sorry for the local beer to say that, but this is shit. Well, it's orange and it tells you the title and then it has some kind of design there. Doesn't that look like a kaleidoscope? You know when you look through a kaleidoscope? I do, yeah. Flip the can. Let's show them all the intricacy on the... No, that's just an S, kind of. I, I guess and a bigger guess. version of that artistic grapefruit. Well, I think they went with less is more. Unfortunately here, less is just less. Less is less, yes. I like how the orange kind of fades a little bit here. The color is great. Other than the color, it's shit. I will tell you that we walked by this beer several times before realizing what it was because the artwork was just too damn plain. I'll tell you what, the guy in front of us with an eight pack of Lucky Max, he walked right by yeah, this too. Yeah, that's an eight percent. Probably for different reasons. Four out of ten because I really like the color orange. Um, you get a point for your brewery name and a point for the title. I give it a 2 out of 10. You should have given it a 3. No, I shouldn't have. I'm, I'm pretty... You like the name and the something else. And Look, we walked by it twice without realizing. Oh, fuck it, that's it. This is taste. Now let's see how good this fucking pumpkin spice ale latte tastes. There it is, alright. I'll give him this. It tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. It's crazy how much this tastes like a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, it's insane. It has that exact latte flavor. Without the pumpkin, it still has that latte. It's almost like a London fog. You nailed it. You should have called it the pumpkin fucker ale. Pumpkin fuck this right into the can. I'd open up in an alternative brewery, like a, like a fucking awesome brewery, and then my seasonal beer would be called pumpkin fucker ale. Pumpkin, fuck the ale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like pumpkin spice right into it. And it would look like a, like a pumpkin dildo with a jack lantern as, a, as the jackhammer end of the, 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 the meat hammer. No, no, it's too gross. Oh. Would it be like Justin Timberlake's dick in a box? Would it be a dick in a pumpkin? So it would be a, a no, real no, thick no, guy? No, no, dick like that. It would just, you just use your imagination. I am. This tastes like I'm wearing Ugg boots and a, and a wool scarf on a nice warm September day. Not because I'm chilly, but because it completes my ensemble. This is a very autumnal taste. You need to get your dictionary out again with this shit. I wouldn't even... I don't know. You know yeah. what I don't know? <laughs> it's it befuddling. tastes exactly like it should. I'm drinking it now and, and I don't it. mind it. Right, yeah, I don't mind it either. I don't feel like shit and I get a punch of flavor for the taste and then it's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for me. This is smooth this. So is it smooth? I mean... If you think pumpkin spice lattes are smooth. It's not that heavy, which is shocking. Not me. heavy at all. I don't think it's smooth and it, like it's it's nice because when I get that hit of that taste, I'm like, oh my god, my favorite kind of year. It's oh, very it's like low to the face. Yes. But you get a hit of that taste. I said yes before I, I realized what he said. I just assumed and you would like it at first, but then no. you're like, this is a mess. No, you're okay. You're you're what, in a Pantene Pro V commercial? This is a mess. No, he's in a Pantene Pro D commercial. Pro um Nothing wrong with a good facial amongst friends, but what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is that this isn't something I continually rush back to for another sip. But it's still not like, ew, I'm not going to have any more. Correct. Yeah, it's not the smoothest because you're drinking a pumpkin spice ale. Like, where? how does that sound smooth? But it's not bad. It's pumpkin spice. 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 It's pumpkin spice. Spice. Fuck, I'm drunk. Fucking pumpkin spice, but it tastes a lot like a London Fog. And I get London Fog sometimes mm. when I'm going to my book club. Uh, you can't read. Uh, and London Fogs have a shitload of cream in them. Mm. It's like cream, heavy on the cream, and then uh, the, uh, whatever, however they make it, the London Fog is cream based. You know that the main ingredient is cream. cream. Oh, hell yeah. It's a cream tea. It's very creamy. Yeah. It's like. And I get a lot of London Fog flavor as well as the pumpkin spice. Uh, but London Fogs are very smooth. That's what also I was going to get to. I'm going to do a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 for me. This is downability. Time to take this whole pumpkin spice latte in our mouths. And this is the key to downability. Please don't fuck me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every time I started a new semester of gym, that was my silent prayer going into the locker room. Uh, please don't fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who's your teacher? Please don't fuck me. <laughs> uh, Spectrum. Oh, trick or fucking treat! Get a lot of cloves. You get more of the yeah the 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 the, the ingredients. I, I love that you make a pumpkin spice latte ale. 
How about you make one that we can shotgun as well? Yeah, make it for shit rats too. Yes, please. Don't forget the little guys. Make it for the guys that want to maybe, you know, on Halloween, instead of getting a treat, we do a trick. Maybe we put some fireworks on a little pumpkin and blow it up. Or just get blasted by yourself in your uh, basement suite. Yeah, maybe maybe the whole... <laughs> <laughs> Three out of ten for me. Two out of ten for me. Uh, this is reliability time. See how reliable having a beer that tastes like a fucking latte is. Can you count on this pumpkin spice latte ale to get you through a cozy autumnal evening? I don't know if this is reliable. It's not. Yeah. Five out of ten for reliability. Five out of ten for me. Five out of ten. This is final grade. Time to see how Spectrum did in school. Artwork? Uh, no. Great. The taste. Tastes exactly like a Starbucks pumpkin spiced latte. And I think Starbucks might take legal action at some point, but you fucking nailed it. Uh, smoothness, it's a pumpkin spice latte beer. That's it. Think about it. Downability. You can down it. You're gonna be small and spicy. <laughs> Reliability, it's very high on the spice latte. Mm. And it's beer. It's fucking marinate on that. So not that reliable, but not that bad either because you're still getting what you paid for. I'm giving it a C plus. C plus? Yeah. I'm giving this a B. Guys, thank you so much for watching Beer Me. Holy shit, do we appreciate it. Please rate, review, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what beers you want us to review. And if we can find them, I mean, chances are we're going to drink them. If you laugh at this, share it with your great share aunt. Share it with fucking everybody. Yeah, share the show. Put we it on the dark web. Thank you so much again. We love you. Next week is our Halloween live stream. Make sure to tune in live Saturday, October 30th, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm going to fuck a ghost live on camera. And you can actually see my dink go in and out because they're transparent. All right, guys, tune in next week for the last episode ever of Beer Me. Are you going to fuck Casper? I'm going to fuck an adult ghost. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>